Hi, this is Joseph Lebrecht, and I'm going to demonstrate how to package um, an Air 3 project for captive runtime for installation on Windows. When you actually create a bundle of files and folders using captive runtime for Windows, it doesn't create an installer with it. So we have to go out and, you know, find some sort of an installer application that can build an MSI installer or some other installer in order to um, properly install the application on Windows, adding things to uh, add remove programs, dealing with uninstalls, and things like that. Luckily there are quite a few um, both commercial and freeware products to choose from. So this little application here is just a little Air app that I've built uh, for myself in order to manage um, data for a photograph delivery system that I have for my personal use. Uh, so basically, if we run it here, I can simply grab a bunch of photos in a directory and drag them in here and it'll format them into the proper XML syntax that I need to then copy to my clipboard and then paste into my document. So it's a very simple application but one that would make a lot of sense to, you know, simply be installed. Um, if I don't want to rely on the Air Runtime, I can then package this with a native installer using Captive Runtime. So let's do that. The first thing we need to do is to actually create a release build. So we'll go to Project, Export Release Build, and this is all fine. We're going to choose... Um, under export as signed application with captive runtime. And this is going to bundle the air runtime files in with our application uh, folder structure. So I hit next. Alright, so here we've got to actually um, sign our application. So I'll type in my password for this. Okay. And under package contents, we're going to include an icon file here, our Swift and our application descriptor file. Native extensions we're not using in this case, so that's fine. So we'll hit finish. And created that for me. So in my exports folder, I've got a folder called Daughter Cruncher. And then underneath there, I have my executable, I've got my Swift, there's my icon, and then we have our 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 meta inf folder and also an Adobe Air folder which contains all the the files necessary for the Air runtime. So now that we have this we can actually just get out of Flash Builder altogether and we need to have a look at Advanced Installer. So this is something that I chose um, after looking around a little bit for uh, something to create MSI files for Windows. And their website is advancedinstaller.com and you can see there's a freeware edition and also a uh, uh, purchase edition that you can buy. Um, I just grabbed the freeware one and it seemed to work just fine for what I'm doing which is a simple installer. Uh, if you're doing something more complex you might have to spring for for the uh, commercial license. But basically what I chose here was an installer for project type and then using the simple generic template and create project. So here it's pretty simple what you do. You just give it a name. So daughter cruncher and what your version is, company name. So I'll just put F FEM. Uh, then you can put URLs and so forth, uh, some comments. So this will actually show up in the add remove programs right here. Uh, so you can put things in there if you want. And you can use the Windows installer. You can also determine a control panel icon for Windows. And for this, we'll just go up into desktop and exports daughter cruncher. And we can actually point to the executable that was generated by Flash Builder because it's got the icon kind of packed in there, right? So that'll show up. Then you can just tweak certain things. Um, this is good enough for me. 
Alright, so the next thing we need to do is actually point to our files, our bundle that was created by Flash Builder. So we'll go to Files and Folders, and what we'll do is we'll add some a folder here. So we'll go into Data Cruncher, and this has our error and, and all that stuff in it, and select that folder. And it's going to add all those files, so we can see here our executable, our Swift, our icon file, and, and so forth. And if we drill down, it's also got our error and meta inf and, and all that stuff. So now when we go to build this, it'll go through and actually add all these different files. So you can see here's a bunch of the error stuff being added. And it tells us where it is uh, sending it for creation and so forth. OK, great. So it's created it for us. And that's really just about it. It builds it for us. So here we can see under exports, here's our original output from Flash Builder. And then here's our project file. And then under setup files, we've got our little MSI. So let's run this, this MSI. And you can see that it, it comes up with a setup wizard. And we can specify where that's going to be located under program files. So you can see it's using my what I popped in for a uh, um, a company right there. I could use my name if I wanted to. And under the application name, or we can change that and install the thing. So you'll notice as this is installing, we've got sort of some basic um, branding here used by advanced installer, uh, such as this here. Um, I haven't looked into changing that yet, but there's probably some way of doing that, perhaps in the paid version, or, or using some other system. So some other options here that you might notice are different install parameters. So, you know, you've got all these different uh, little things you can, you can specify here. Um, and you can also specify how upgrades should behave. So, you know, if you increment this version number, um, you can have upgrades perform a certain way. So, let's close out of out of that, and what we'll do is go to uh, Add Remove Programs, and you can see that uh, I've got it installed here. So it shows up with my little icon, and Publisher shows up, installed on size, and so forth. There's my version, so pretty cool and uh, yeah that'll just work so you can distribute that MSI and uh, people can use the application so I hope this is helpful for people who are trying to figure out how to package um, this Air 3 captive runtime stuff uh, for distribution on Windows systems